Hello everyone! Welcome to our health channel. Today, we're going to talk about something that literally runs through our veins. Blood types. Do you know yours? Have you ever wondered if some blood types are better or worse than others? Let's explore the scientific facts about blood types, debunk some common myths, and understand why knowing your blood type can be important for your health. Stay until the end for an important tip on how you can use this knowledge practically. Before diving into the details, it's essential to understand what blood types are. Our blood is made up of various cells, including red blood cells. On the surface of these cells, there are proteins called antigens. These antigens determine our blood type. The main blood types are A, B, AB, and O. These types are determined by the presence or absence of antigens A and B. Additionally, there is the RH factor, which can be positive or negative. Thus, we have eight main blood types. A positive, a negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, and O negative. The distribution of these blood types varies significantly among different populations and geographical regions. For example, type O is generally the most common worldwide, but its prevalence can vary from about 30% to over 60% depending on the population. It's important to understand that each blood type has its own characteristics in terms of compatibility for transfusions. For example, type O negative is considered the universal donor for red blood cells because it can be received by people of any blood type. Meanwhile, AB positive is known as the universal recipient able to receive red blood cells from any type. Blood compatibility is crucial in cases of blood transfusion. An incompatible transfusion can cause a severe, potentially fatal reaction in the body. Therefore, it is always important to know your blood type and inform healthcare professionals in emergency situations. In recent years, research has been investigating possible correlations between blood types and certain health risks. However, it is essential to understand that these associations, when they exist, are generally weak and do not imply a direct causal relationship. Factors like lifestyle, diet, exercise, and family history have a much more significant impact on overall health than blood type. Type A – Facts and Myths Blood type A is one of the four main blood types. Its prevalence varies significantly among different populations. But globally, it is estimated that about 20 to 30 percent of people have this blood type. Let's start by dispelling a common myth. The idea that type A is related to a farmer type in human evolution. While this theory has gained popularity in some circles, there is no solid scientific evidence to support it. The evolution of blood types is a complex process influenced by many factors, including natural selection and genetic drift. Now, let's go to the scientifically based facts. 1. Compatibility for transfusions. People with type A can donate blood to individuals with types A and AB. They can receive blood from types A and O. 2. RH factor. Like all blood types, type A can be RH positive or negative. The RH factor is particularly important during pregnancy as it can cause complications if an RH-negative mother is pregnant with an RH-positive baby. 3. Associations with health Some studies have investigated possible associations between type A and certain health risks. For example, some research suggests a possible association between type A and a slightly increased risk of gastric cancer. However, it is crucial to understand that this is a weak association and does not imply causality. Other studies have explored possible relationships with cardiovascular diseases, but the results are mixed and inconclusive. It is essential to emphasize that these associations, when they exist, are generally weak. Factors like diet, exercise, family history, and lifestyle have a much greater impact on health than blood type. An interesting fact about type A is its geographical distribution. It is more common in certain populations, such as in parts of Europe and Asia, but less frequent in others, such as among indigenous populations of the Americas. In terms of blood donation, type A is valuable, 
especially A negative, which can be used in emergencies for patients with types A or AB of any RH factor. It is important to debunk the idea that certain blood types require specific diets. There is no solid scientific evidence supporting the need for blood type-based diets. A balanced and healthy diet is recommended for everyone, regardless of blood type. Type B. Separating facts from fiction. Blood type B is less common than types A and O in many populations, but its prevalence varies significantly in different parts of the world. Globally, it is estimated that about 10 to 20 percent of people have this blood type. First, let's address a common myth. The idea that type B is associated with a nomadic type in human evolution. As with other blood types, there is no solid scientific evidence to support this theory. The evolution of blood types is a complex process influenced by various environmental and genetic factors. Now, let's go to the scientifically based facts. 1. Compatibility for transfusions. People with type B can donate blood to individuals with types B and AB. They can receive blood from types B and O. 2. RH factor. Like all blood types, type B can be RH positive or negative. The RH factor is particularly important during pregnancy due to the risk of RH incompatibility between mother and fetus. 3. Geographical distribution. Type B is more common in certain regions of the world. For example, it is relatively frequent in Central Asia and parts of India, but less common in indigenous populations of the Americas and Western Europe. 4. Associations with health. Some studies have investigated possible associations between type B and certain aspects of health. However, it is crucial to understand that these associations, when they exist, are generally weak and do not imply causality. Some research suggests a possible association between type B and a slightly different risk of certain diseases compared to other blood types. However, the results are often inconsistent and require more studies for confirmation. It is important to note that factors like diet, exercise, family history, and lifestyle have a much greater impact on health than blood type. An interesting aspect of type B is its very geographical distribution. This variation has led to speculation about possible evolutionary advantages in certain environments. But these theories still require more research to be confirmed. In terms of blood donation, type B is valuable, especially B negative, which can be used in emergencies for patients with types B or AB of any RH factor. It is important to debunk the idea that people with type B require specific diets. There is no solid scientific evidence supporting the need for blood type based diets. A balanced and healthy diet is recommended for everyone, regardless of blood type. Type AB, the rarest blood type. Blood type AB is the rarest of the four main blood types. Globally, it is estimated that only about 3 to 5 percent of the population has this blood type, although this percentage can vary significantly among different ethnic groups and geographical regions. Let's start by clarifying a frequently misunderstood concept. While type AB is the most recent in evolutionary terms, this does not mean it is better or worse than other types. Each blood type has its own unique characteristics. Now let's go to the scientifically based facts. 1. Compatibility for transfusions. Type AB is known as the universal recipient for red blood cells meaning people with type AB can receive blood from any ABO type. However, they can only donate red blood cells to other AB individuals. 2. AB plasma. Interestingly, while AB red blood cells can only be donated to AB recipients, AB plasma is considered the universal plasma donor and can be given to patients of any blood type. This makes AB plasma particularly valuable in emergency situations. 3. RH factor. Like all blood types, type AB can be RH positive or negative. The RH factor is particularly important during pregnancy due to the risk of RH incompatibility between mother and fetus. 4. 
Geographical Distribution The prevalence of type AB varies significantly among different populations. For example, it is more common in some parts of Asia and less frequent among indigenous populations of the Americas. 5. Associations with Health Some studies have investigated possible associations between type AB and certain aspects of health. However, it is crucial to understand that these associations, when they exist, are generally weak and do not imply causality. Some research suggests a possible association between type AB and a slightly different risk of certain conditions compared to other blood types. However, the results are often inconsistent and require more studies for confirmation. It is important to emphasize that factors like diet, exercise, family history, and lifestyle have a much greater impact on health than blood type. An interesting aspect of type AB is its relatively recent origin in human evolutionary history. It is believed to have arisen from the mixing of populations with types A and B, which explains its relative rarity. It is important to debunk the idea that people with type AB require specific diets or lifestyles based on their blood type. There is no solid scientific evidence supporting this need. A balanced and healthy diet is recommended for everyone, regardless of blood type. Type O, the most common blood type. Blood type O is the most common of the four main blood types in many populations worldwide. Globally, it is estimated that about 38 to 40% of the population has this blood type. Although this percentage can vary significantly among different ethnic groups and geographical regions. Let's start by clarifying a frequently misunderstood concept. While type O is sometimes called the original or universal blood type, this does not mean it is better or worse than other types. Each blood type has its own unique characteristics. Now let's go to the scientifically based facts. 1. Compatibility for transfusions. Type O is known as the universal donor for red blood cells, meaning people with type O can donate red blood cells to individuals of any ABO type. However, they can only receive blood from other type O donors. 2. RH factor. Like all blood types, type O can be RH positive or negative. Type O negative is particularly valuable in emergency transfusions because it can be given to almost anyone in critical situations. 3. Geographical distribution. The prevalence of type O varies among different populations. For example, it is extremely common among indigenous populations of the Americas, reaching over 90% in some communities. 4. Associations with health. Some studies have investigated possible associations between type O and certain aspects of health. However, it is crucial to understand that these associations, when they exist, are generally weak and do not imply causality. Some research suggests a possible association between type O and a slightly lower risk of venous thrombosis compared to other blood types. However, this does not mean that people with type O are immune to this problem. Studies have investigated possible relationships with gastric ulcers, but the results are mixed and inconclusive. It is important to emphasize that factors like diet, exercise, family history, and lifestyle have a much greater impact on health than blood type. 5. Malaria and Type O Some research suggests that Type O may offer some protection against severe forms of malaria compared to other blood types. However, this does not mean that people with type O are immune to malaria, and preventive measures are still crucial in endemic areas. 6. Hormone Levels Contrary to some popular claims, there is no solid scientific evidence that type O is associated with specific levels of cortisol or other hormones. The stress response is influenced by many factors, and blood type does not appear to be a significant determinant. 7. Fertility. There is no conclusive scientific evidence that type O has a significant impact on fertility. Fertility is influenced by a variety of complex factors, and blood type is not considered a determining factor by reproductive specialists. It is important to debunk the idea that people with type O require specific diets or lifestyles based on their blood type. 
There is no solid scientific evidence supporting this need. A balanced and healthy diet is recommended for everyone, regardless of blood type. An interesting aspect of type O is its high frequency in certain populations. This has led to speculation about possible evolutionary advantages in certain environments. But these theories still require more research to be confirmed. In terms of blood donation, type O, especially O negative, is extremely valuable due to its universal compatibility for red blood cells. People with type O are often encouraged to donate blood regularly, as their blood can be used in emergency situations when the recipient's blood type is unknown. In summary, if you have type O blood, you have the most common blood type in many populations. Your blood is particularly valuable for donations. However, there is no reason for special concern or the need for drastic lifestyle changes based solely on this. As with all blood types, the key to good health is maintaining a balanced lifestyle with a nutritious diet, regular exercise, and regular medical checkups. We have reached the end of our journey through the fascinating world of blood types. As we have seen, each type has its own unique characteristics, but it is crucial to understand that there is no better or worse blood type. Each plays an important role in human genetic diversity. Let's recap some important points. 1. The main blood types are A, B, A, B, and O, each of which can be RH positive or negative. 2. Blood type is important for blood transfusions and may have some weak associations with certain health risks, but these associations are not decisive. 3. Factors like diet, exercise, family history, and lifestyle have a much greater impact on health than blood type. There is no solid scientific evidence supporting the need for specific diets or lifestyles based on blood type. 5. Knowing your blood type can be helpful in medical emergencies and for blood donations. Remember, knowledge is power. Knowing your blood type can be useful, but don't let it define or limit you. You are much more than your blood type. And now, the important tip we promised at the beginning. How about considering becoming a blood donor? Regardless of your blood type, your donation can save lives. Check with local blood banks to find out how you can contribute. If you don't know your blood type yet, consider getting tested. Many labs offer this test at affordable prices, or you can find out by donating blood. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more health content based on scientific evidence. And remember, take good care of your health regardless of your blood type.